Centre's open evening. Can I start by thanking our musicians, Finn and Joe, for playing us in so beautifully. There's always an awkward pause when you're not quite sure whether we're supposed to applaud or not. So thank you very much, boys. The, uh, the education, the journey of a young person is like a series of sort of stepping stones. And you know, like it, as you're walking across a, a river, you need to be sure that the next stone that you're stepping onto is secure. Young people start off, I guess, in preschool, and they, they move up to primary school. That's another stone for them to step on. And then they step from that little stone into a much larger stone of secondary school, the key stage three, and then halfway through key stage three, they start to think about the next stone as they think about their options and what they're going to do for GCSEs, and then they step onto that stone. And now you're in a position where you're looking for the next stone, the sixth form stepping stone. You need to make sure that when you place your feet on it, it's not going to be rocky, but it's going to hold you securely. And you need to be sure that it's going to give you a really good foundation, a really good launch pad for the next step, which for very many people will be into university or apprenticeships. So making sure that you are taking steps onto secure stepping stones is clearly absolutely essential. And we know it's essential, mainly we know it's essential because firstly we've done it lots and lots of times for young people, but speaking for Mr Warren and for myself, we've also done it for our own children. We know what it is that you're looking for. We know that probably one of the main things you're looking for are staff, and fellow students who are kind, who are welcoming, who are enthusiastic, who are generous with their time, who enjoy the company of young people. And I hope as you wander around our school this evening, you'll see loads and loads of examples of exactly that. And I know when Mr Warren speaks to us in a few moments, you'll get exactly that impression. You want to make sure that this is a stepping stone which launches you into university. So you want to choose a stepping stone, a sixth form, where we've already sent students to Russell Group Universities, as we have. That we've already sent students off with three, four A stars, which we have. We've already sent students off to Oxford and to Cambridge and to do law and to do medicine and to do veterinary science, which we have. You'll want to choose a stepping stone where there's plenty of opportunity. There's 38 different courses you can choose from if you join Cheltenham Bourneside Sixth Form Centre. And there's a huge wealth of extracurricular activities to go alongside the curricular activities, those 38 different options. So there's lots and lots of reasons why I think we are providing a very, very secure starting point for further study and a very secure landing point as you step off from your pre-16 studies. But really what you want is to hear some of the details, you want to hear what it's all about, and so I'm really delighted that I can hand over to our head of sixth form, Mr Warren, who's going to take you through a little bit more of the details. Mr. Warren. Good evening, Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm very proud to be head of sixth form here and to welcome you to um, our school this evening. And, and hopefully you'll have an absolutely fantastic um, evening with us. Now, you're probably um, sitting there with lots of questions about how our sixth form is organised and how that sixth form is different to your experience um, in year 11. And you know, what happens uh, how, in terms of how many lessons do you have during the school day? And what happens when you have non-teaching uh, contact periods and non-contact periods? What's the uniform going to be like? 
where can you improve, what you do in your, your private studies and so on. So hopefully as you go out into our school um, this evening and be inspired by our environment and, and our staff, you will get um, the answers to uh, those questions. And we, we're essentially coming in, in three parts. And looking on the left-hand side of our screen um, are results for 2023. And then alongside our results for 2023, our choices, which Mr. Jeffries um, has just alluded to, 32 um, A-level courses and six um, alternative level three uh, courses and BTEC courses, so 38 um, in total. And the majority of those subjects will be duplicated in the option groups to allow our choices that our students make to be as flexible as possible and to give us every opportunity of matching the subjects that you want to study with us and eliminating um, obviously some of those clashes um, and so on that might restrict um, choice elsewhere. <coughs> and alongside that is the enrichment that we offer, that three-part process. So alongside those A-levels and those BTECs and those level three qualifications, it's all about <coughs> enriching your children, our students, in terms of making them as sellable as possible when they leave us to move on to A level, uh, to move on to university courses, to move on to degree apprenticeships, to move on to employment, or to move on to their gap years, whatever it is that they want to do, what their aspirations are, whatever destination they're intended to go to, is about adding as much value to them as we can, over and above um, the A levels as well. Now, to come into our sixth form, there are three different uh, pathways. And pathway one is for the majority of our students who are studying three or four A-levels. Okay? And you will be required to have a four in maths, a four in English, and a grade five, minimum of grade five, in the three subjects that you wish to turn into A-levels. And that will put you on pathway one, which the majority of our students are on. Some of our students will be on pathway two. Now, that's a four in maths and a four in English the same, but those are grade fours in uh, related GCSEs to those pathways. So on pathway one, those are our 32 A-levels that we offer, and pathway two, those are our six um, alternative courses that we offer. They are level three courses, all of them, so they are the equivalent um, of A-levels. And then pathway three, is a blend of pathway one and pathway two, all right? Um, and some of our students will study a BTEC um, or a level three qualification alongside uh, two A-levels, all right? And, and it's that, that mixed um, pathway depending on results. So three different ways of um, achieving access to our sixth form. Okay, and then in terms of those 38 courses, um, that's what they look like, okay? So the dark blue ones are all of the A-levels, and the light blue ones are the um, alternative level three courses uh, for your children to access. Uh, you've all got um, in your hands the uh, brochure, and in the back of the brochure, so the back half of the brochure, all of these subjects are listed with um, far more information than I'm gonna to talk to you about now about them, far more information about the entry criteria, <coughs> And obviously what I would absolutely encourage you to do is to visit those specific areas and chat to the members of staff who will be teaching your children and can go out there um, this evening, okay? So in terms of our sixth form, um, what are we looking to do uh, with our students uh, who are coming to us? So A, B and C. A for ambition, okay? And we will be ambitious for your children. We will be ambitious by setting them targets to help them reach their potential. That's what we are about. And we want our students coming into the sixth form to be equally as ambitious, to push themselves as far as they can to achieve their potential. They're all sitting here in the audience this evening and there are many, many more moving around the school as we speak who will be back in here for talk number two and each will have their own ambition, each will have their own dreams, their own ambitions of where they are heading for, and it is our job to ensure that they reach that potential and support them as much as possible. 
And alongside that comes that belief, that belief in themselves and that belief that we have in them to help them get to where they want to go. And the C part, the commitment, absolutely the third part of that arrangement. Commitment in terms of us to them, and more importantly as well, that commitment matched from them to us, okay, and meeting us halfway. The student, us as staff, and obviously you as parents, the three working together to get the ultimate goal of success for your child. These um, are some of the students that absolutely did this with us last year. That's our year 13 um, that has left, and they are some of the results that they had, the outstanding results that they had, um, and some of the amazing places and courses that they went on to do. Now, these are our former students that have gone. You are our future, and we're about to hear from two of the present. Okay, if I can invite Millie up to the stage, please. Thank you. Formside, the biggest school in Gloucestershire with community at its core. I'm Millie, a year 12 student who has been at the school since year 7. Following my GCSEs, I made the decision that Formside was where I was meant to be. I felt as though it could give me everything I desired in the sixth form opportunities, support, and the foundation to my future occupation. Since the age of nine, I've always dreamt of a career in space. During my time at Formside, my love of physics and maths has sparked the aspiration of becoming an aerospace engineer, and I aim to take up an, app up an apprenticeship degree in this field. My chosen subjects of maths, physics, and business, alongside my extended project qualifications, are giving me the depth of knowledge which will allow me to take that path. However, being, being a sixth form here isn't just about going through lessons and study periods every day. Formside has enabled me to continue with my love for physical activity. Wednesday afternoons are for your chosen enrichment, mine being sport. Using the fitness suite and playing netball matches for the school helps me to have time away from my textbook and develop other skills such as teamwork. As I previously mentioned, community is a key part of our school. Sixth formers are encouraged to support the younger years in a variety of ways, one of which is the mentoring scheme that takes place during duty time once a week. I was assigned to a key stage three student in order to support them with their maths. I look forward to these, to these sessions and have already noticed an increased confidence in my mentee. I am also a physics subject ambassador, which has meant that, that I have assisted the physics department in events such as whole school open evening and the moon rock exhibition. Bourneside Sixth Form is also actively involved with the wider community. Just before Christmas, I was one of a group of students who welcomed older local res residents to a morning of festive entertainment and refreshments. More recently, I was involved in a tree planting event for the Weavers Field Orchard, all of, which, all of which enhanced any application to university or other forms of higher education for me. Of course, I can't finish without mentioning the staff who support and encourage me in my A-level subjects, along with the sixth form team who create a variety of opportunities which not only can help us academically, but also to grow as a person too. I certainly made the right choice by choosing Bourneside, I'm sure it could be the right choice for you too. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening and seeing all that Bourneside Sixth Form has to offer. Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'm a student here at Bourneside in Year 12, and I'm studying Music, Theatre Studies and Biology. I came to Bourneside Sixth Form because I had already been a student here in the main school since I joined at the beginning of Year 7 back in 2018. Over the five years of being in main school, I have developed so many strong relationships with all of my friends and teachers, and I've had so much fun getting to know everyone that I couldn't imagine myself going anywhere else and leaving all of that behind. The diversity of the school and how friendly all the teachers and other members of staff are really pulled me to staying here, and I'm so glad I did as it means I have further strength from the bonds I have to everyone, which makes school life a joy to experience. Another experience for me was the introduction of directed study periods as part of the sixth form timetable, a new opportunity to allow for more focused time to get all your work done in school rather than having to do it all at home. I wasn't thrilled about directed study periods initially as I was worried that it would take away from the time I would have in my freeze or self-directed study periods, but actually it has really helped me to catch up on my workload and cut down on the work to do at home. This is especially helpful for me as I am someone who does a lot of clubs outside of school and doesn't have as much time at home as other people do. 
As well as this, clubs and opportunities inside school hours are more than plentiful, in, especially in the music and drama departments where I focus a lot of my time. There is not only the school production that I participate in every year and the various musical clubs, such as senior singers, jazz bands and more, but even outings such as lunch lunchtime concerts to, at Pitville Pumroos. To further add to all of this, every student in sixth form chooses one enrichment activity to do on Wednesday afternoons for the duration of period five. This ranges between sports activities, training for the Gold Duke of Edinburgh Award, which I'm doing, um, which is open to all year 12s, and even drama enrichment, which I do as well, where we plan fun acting related acting related activities to do with the year sevens every Monday after school in year seven drama club. Of course, everything I've done here wouldn't have been possible without the amazing staff and teachers here at the school and the unwavering support they have provided to me and my fellow peers. They are always free to chat if I ever need them and they're always here to help me to the full extent I need them to inside and outside of lesson time. This also goes for Bourneside's careers department and the help they have given us with what our next steps in life may be after sixth form with the many careers and apprenticeship fairs they've taken us to. This school and its incredible people have never stopped me or anyone else from reaching our full potential and it's really helped to shape who I am today. If you choose to come to Woodside Sixth Form, from my experience, you can be very confident in your choice. Thank you. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Thomas. So then in terms then of, of that um, enrichment and what sort of sits alongside those three and, and four A-levels and uh, level three alternative courses that our, that our children do, uh, a huge list of them there. Um, and Thomas mentioned Duke of Edinburgh and Millie mentioned some sport. But alongside that, um, we can and do have students in our sixth form who currently want to be uh, primary school teachers when they leave. So on Wednesday afternoons, they go out into our local feeder schools uh, and act as teaching assistants to the year five and the year six classes. The peer mentoring um, system in school is very, very strong. Um, and both of our speakers there um, alluded to that. And the idea that our students in year 12 and in year 13 have so many skills that they can offer back to our students in year seven and take in one of those students in year seven who perhaps um, is not as confident in maths or as English or socially and then matching them up with one of our students and working with them to help nurture those students and develop those students younger down the school and these are all incredible skills uh, for our students our sixth form students to take forward the aspire program um, also on there an opportunity for our students who want to reach for the most competitive universities with the most competitive courses um, who want to go to Oxford or to Cambridge, who want to go into medicine, who want to go into veterinary science and that is a bespoke course that we run on a Wednesday afternoon that Miss Thunwood runs um, who is just through uh, the doors here in the sixth form centre um, and will um, happily answer any questions that anyone has on that. The EPQ um, is also there and again I would encourage as many of you to do that as possible. That is an additional qualification alongside your A-levels. So again, it will give you an edge over people you'll be competing against for university places and jobs when you leave here. So all of these things are designed to, to add value to, um, to yourselves. And those opportunities to gain those experiences and qualifications in areas that interest you. Okay, and that EPQ is part of our curriculum enrichment, alongside things like level three core maths. So again, if you don't want to do um, an A-level in maths, but you want to keep a familiarity with maths, and again, uh, gain a, an additional qualification in maths, then a level three core maths, you could run alongside three A-levels very, very easily. So again, it's about adding to the person, adding those opportunities, adding those experiences to you, I'm helping you to inspire you on to that next step. Okay, then in terms then of our opportunities in school, opportunities to represent our sixth form at music evenings, opportunity to represent our sixth form at debating, or as uh, Thomas done in uh, the animal performances, <coughs> opportunities to use our facilities in the gym, the sixth form cafe, which I hope you will um, all visit this evening. <coughs> which I'm reliably informed they are, and serving very nice pizza there tonight, just through there, straight down the left, okay? Um, and obviously opportunities well, like the, the far right-hand photo, um, students there doing our uh, EPQ. Okay, and then 
just through these doors here is our actual sixth form centre. Okay, it is our area where the majority of sixth form spend the majority of their time when they're not in lessons. Okay, please, I would absolutely encourage you to go through those doors, go into that area and see our facilities for yourself. Um, that's what they look like. That's what you will see um, when you get in there. The top left hand photograph and the bottom right is the directed study area. Bottom left hand corner is the self-directed <coughs> study area and top right is our pit stop cafe okay, that our sixth form have exclusive use of. Now the directed study area as you can see is a mix of computers um, and tables and chairs. Okay, and again it's that opportunity for students to get that work done in school or they're in that environment um, and to get things done that they need to do. Now our sixth form uniform is on our school website and you can see it uh, over there um, on the right hand side. Um, I would encourage you to visit uh, say our school website, look at our uniform um, and see our requirements there. Alongside all of that will be a tutoring programme for 30 minutes every afternoon Monday and to Friday, with the exception of one afternoon a week where your child will have assembly. That tutoring programme will be a mix of your 12 and 13 students, and again, adding different skills to them, um, which again will serve them well when they leave. Alongside that tutoring programme, um, there's myself, obviously as head of sixth form, I have two deputy heads of sixth form and assistant head of sixth form as well, looking after the pastoral and academic um, interests of all of your children, given that um, total um, package, as we said, to help them meet their potential. Now, in terms of our typical offer, the majority of our students will be studying three A-levels, say, or three BTECs or level three courses, or a mixture of, of, of those two things, okay? Alongside that will be that personal enrichment that we've talked about, and e for l lessons. Okay, and education for life lessons. In year 12, very much focused on <coughs> alerting them and highlighting the, all the various destinations that are open to them when they leave. And also talking to them about uh, things of personal interest to them, like um, safer driving, um, and also to look out for um, different things in society, like healthy relationships and um, alcohol and, and so on. Okay? and look at all those different things and how they fit together in their lives to keep them um, safe as part of that Education for Life program. Then the remaining time is directed study and self-directed study. So alongside the A-levels, they will have eight hours of directed study per fortnight. And that's when colleagues um, will give them, per, uh, per A-level, okay, they will give them uh, four, four lessons each okay, where that learning time will be extended beyond the classroom. So I get four hours per fortnight with my geography class, okay, where I can set them things to do to supplement the learning that I do with them in class. They go into the director study area where they are supervised in there and they will continue with those tasks. And that's an opportunity for staff, all of our A-level teachers, me being one of them, to extend the learning of the children to support what they're doing in class. Then the rest of that time is self-directed study, and that is where they have an opportunity to organise their own time. Okay, so again, it starts to prepare them for life sort of beyond us. There are some exceptions to that. Some of our students will be doing four A-levels. Some of you in our audience might want to do four A-levels, which is fine. Some of you want to do that. <coughs> and some, depending on results, will need to do a GCSE reset in mathematics as well. Okay. Um, and if, again, more about that, if anyone wants to know anything about those two options, and through there, talking to our sixth form staff. Other things then which um, people do as well, there are opportunities to organise regular uh, placements and work experience as part of their sixth form day. Again, to give them that experience for things they can write about in an application form to a job or to university um, or to um, anywhere else they are going. Right, so that is what is gonna happen uh, moving forward. Okay, so tonight, obviously you're here with me, um, but our application goes live tonight. Okay, it has gone live already. I'm very, very pleased to say we've already had some applications, which is great. Okay, so it's gone live um, tonight. And again, you'll find the links from our website and in the brochure um, and so on. 
Beyond that, then, so roughly speaking, four weeks from now, okay, our sixth form application is deadline. So our sixth form applications will close. And then between March and May, students will be invited to discussions. It is not an interview, it is an applications discussion centered around your current GCSEs, what your current strengths are, and to look at what you are going to choose. And then making sure that what you're going to choose is aligned to the strengths that you currently have um, in your um, GCSE uh, current qualification portfolio. Right, so March to May that is. I'll invite you all back in June for our induction day. Okay, and then um, June and July then um, will be you accepting your offers um, with us. And then that all important day, um, obviously <coughs> GCSE results day. All right, after that. What I would also say to you at this point as well, once you have made your application, then the communication um, between us and you will continue through the year, month on month, through to your exams. We'll be sending you bits of information in preparation for when you join us um, in the sixth form. All right, um, where are we heading? I'm here. Okay, this is exactly where we are heading. On our results day, okay, those students sat where you are, Okay, and they were extremely successful last year and the year before and the year before that and we want equally the same success for you as well. I'll close by uh, just showing you some of the current endorsements from our uh, students okay, and what they think of our sixth form and why they think that you should be joining us here at Cheltenham Bourneside School. Thank you for the opportunity this evening to chat to you and I hope you have a very, very pleasant evening chat to my colleagues about our sixth form. Thank you very much. So if you'd like to make your way out the doors at the back or through the doors at the side here, thank you.